Hi, I'm Miss Laura with Waverly Presbyterian Church, and my grandson Harmon and I are going to show you how to do a craft to celebrate a very special day. Harmon, what is Sunday? Um, Easter. Easter, okay. This is our craft for today. It is currently on my refrigerator, held on by a wonderful magnet that my sister gave me. And at the end of this, on Sunday morning, you're going to be able to roll the stone away and see an empty tomb. Okay, here's what you're going to need to make this craft. First of all, you're going to need a paper plate. Now, I only have this kind, but you can use the, the cheaper kinds too. You will need a pair of scissors. You're going to need markers or crayons. And we use glue. crayons. Yes, we're going to need glue. And tissue. What color is that tissue? Green grass. Yes, because we need green grass around our tomb here. And then we'll need either construction paper or I think this is scrapbooking paper, but construction paper works fine. If you don't have any construction paper at home, use just some white paper and use your crayons to color it whatever color you want. And then to make the stone roll away easily, we used a brad, but you can also use um, either ribbon or a paper clip to hold it in place, or you can use string, whatever you happen to have to keep that stone rolled in front of the tomb until Easter morning. Because of course on Easter morning, yeah. we're gonna roll the stone away to show the empty tomb. Okay, all right, so here's what we're going to do first. We've got to do some prep work. So depending on the age of the child that you ha are helping with this project, um, you may have to do a lot of prep work or maybe not so much. Harmon, how old are you? No, you are three. You are three. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more of the prep work. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take this paper plate and cut it in half. Okay, so I have cut our paper plate in two. And also what I did was I used my pen to um, make an outline of the tomb and then I cut out the boulder. Now, don't throw this away because it's gonna be useful later. But I used the boulder then, and I traced around it on the part that we're going to decorate. Now, the next thing that Harmon's going to do is yeah. he needs to color the inside of this boulder black, the inside of the tomb black. So, Harmon, here is a black crayon. I want you to just color inside here. Okay, so Harmon has colored the inside of our tomb black, and we also have a gray stone. And later on, we will attach the gray stone to the front of our tomb. But for right now, I'm gonna put it aside. So then, while Harmon was coloring, I went ahead and I cut out a cross. Notice I left the tail of the cross, the bottom part of the cross kinda long. Um, that's so that when you attach it to the back, um, the cross will actually stand up high. Okay, so Harmon, yeah. the next thing we're going to do is we need to trace your hands. Yeah. And I've got um, some scrapbook paper here, but you can use construction paper. And we're going to trace your hands. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Okay, well, let's see. Put your hand somewhere on there. Okay, that looks great. And I'm going to go around. Does that tickle? Okay, so we're gonna do this. And when we get through tracing Harmon's hands, okay, now put your other hand up there. We're going to let Harmon start tearing these things apart to make the grass. Let's put it over here. Yeah. 
going to trash it apart. So Harmon has a lot of grass right here that he has, he has made. And now he is going to glue that grass around the tomb and up on the sides and everywhere. Now, if you have a lot of time on your hands, you can make a little pile of glue. And this is where you use this other thing here. Make a little pile of glue on here and use a Q-tip and have your child dip the Q-tip in the glue and make one dot and then put on the grass. And it, it takes a little more time that way. So what we're gonna do this morning, we don't have to kill a whole lot of time. Um, we're gonna do this. Lulu's gonna go around here and I'm just gonna put the glue all the way around like this. You wanna squeeze it a little bit with me? And we're gonna do all the way around. Okay, now Harmon, what I want you to do now, oh, we got lots of glue on there. I want you to start putting the grass on here. There you go, just keep on going. Okay, so now okay. we have our completed project. Here's what we did. Um, after Harmon got his grass on here, we glued onto the back, we glued the cross, and then we glued his hands, and then we made sure the hands were visible, and then we took the boulder, the stone, and we paper clipped this one on. On the original one, we had a brad that we could use. But we paper clipped this on. And I encourage you to talk to your child about how the stone was rolled away. And when the people came, when the people, disciples and the women came to the tomb that morning, they discovered the stone rolled away and the tomb was empty. And that's 